everyone! Today we're going to make easy macaroni and cheese. All of the ingredients in this recipe can be found at Trader Joe's, Safeway, Whole Foods, Target, CVS, and Walmart. All of which are either a short walk or bus ride away from the building. A link to the student map can be found in the description box. Okay, let's get started. You're going to need a large mug or medium-sized microwave-safe bowl, some elbow pasta, or any short pasta you're liking, like penny, or ziti, whatever. Shredded cheese, I'm just using a standard three cheese blend. Um, some water, a splash of milk, salt, and any seasoning of your liking. Get creative with this. Seasonings are a great effortless way to add variety and flavor to your simple dishes. There are many blends out there that are already prepared, like 12 blends or Italian blends. So all you need to do is choose. For this, I'll be using an Italian blend seasoning, smoked paprika, black pepper, and garlic powder. All of these are readily found at many grocery stores and last for a long time. You're gonna have such variety in your meals, girl. Oh, you're gonna be a gourmet shop so soon. So first, place your desired amount of pasta in your mug or bowl. I'm filling my bowl halfway. Next, add your water just above the amount of pasta in your bowl you know, you just want to make sure you cover the pasta, but you don't want to fully submerge it just yet. And then when you're done with that, add a pinch of salt. I am using this wonderful Trader Joe's sea salt. Sea salt is really good for you, it's delicious, and it's better than iodized salt, and you sparingly, of course. And then when you're done with that, just make sure you stir your pasta around a little bit. It's fresh out of the bag, so you want to make sure it's nice and evenly separated and covered. Look at that girl, it looks so good. Okay, so next. You're just gonna microwave this uncovered, uncovered girl, for about eight minutes. If you really want al dente, al dente pasta, you can leave it in for nine minutes or 10 minutes. I don't think it's necessary. Eight minutes worked perfectly fine for me. Now here is a very, very important note. You must watch the pasta. There will be a very strong chance that it will spill over a bit. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna promise you that it will spill over. But that's just because the water that we put in is evaporating. The pasta needs to fully cook while totally submerged in water. So when you see it spill over, don't panic. Carefully remove the bowl from the microwave, and I mean careful, this bowl is hot. Just stir it up a little bit, it's, it's gonna be fine. It might scare you a little bit, don't worry about it. Just stir it, add more water, and then do it so it covers the pasta. Add the water so it covers the pasta just a little bit like how we did it the first time. And you're gonna wanna do this every couple of minutes. It's important that you do this so that the pasta is nice and evenly cooked through. Every little noodle is cooked through properly. And um, so, you know, you don't have a big fat mess in your microwave. But don't worry about if it spills over, it's just water. It can be cleaned up so easily. Yeah. So we have our thoroughly cooked noodles. They look super yummy. Now we're going to add a handful of cheese. I love this blend, I'm getting it everywhere I know. But this is just mozzarella, cheddar, and Monterey Jack, so good. Seriously though, if you don't have any measuring cups, just use your hand, or if you're really not about that life, fill one third of any cup with cheese. Then you're gonna add it to the pasta, return it to the microwave for another 60 seconds, just so it can melt up a little bit. Then you're gonna carefully take it out. It's, it's still a really hot bowl. Um, that did not change at all. And just make sure you stir it around so it's nice and evenly covering all of the macaroni. Then when you're done with that, you're gonna add a splash of milk. If you don't wanna add milk, that's fine. You could just add additional water. I'm using this unsweetened almond milk from Trader Joe's. I love, love, love this milk. I use it for everything. I also pick up their vanilla version. It's just delicioso. Then when you're done with that, you're gonna do the fun part. You're gonna add the seasonings. So really, like I said before, get creative with this. This is a smoked paprika, gives it a nice earthy tone, beautiful aroma, beautiful color. You're gonna add some garlic powder in there. Again, it fills the room with just a wonderful, wonderful smell. You're gonna add your Italian seasoning blend, and this is a blend of basil, 
parsley, oregano, some thyme. Oh, it's it's just look at this picture right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And then when you're done with that, um, just put some ground pepper, black pepper in it. Um, if you want, if you like you, if you like a little bit of spice in there, you can add some red pepper flakes or maybe some cayenne pepper. For those of you, my my fellow Marylanders, Old Bay on this is delicious. Really, this is your mac and cheese bowl to create. If you're at home, you can even throw it in the oven and just let it bake a little bit, put some bread, bread crumbs on it. Ah, oh, so delicious. And that's it, everybody. You've just made yourself some really quick and simple macaroni and cheese. Took us no time at all. It's so good, so filling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave comments or questions below. Thank you so much. This has been NYUDC Kitchen.